Several species of cestodes parasitize the small intestine of dogs, and one of this is the Inia pisiformis. Taenia pisiformis is an endoparasitic tapeworm which causes infection in lagomorphs, rodents, and carnivores. Adult T. pisiformis typically occur within the small intestine of the definitive host to carnivores. Lagomorphs, the intermediate host, are infected by fecal contamination of grasses and other food sources by the definitive host. It is the most common tainid tapeworm of dogs in the United States and is also found in foxes and less frequently in other carnivores. Rabbits serve as an intermediate host. Now we will move on to its life cycle. The definitive host, typically dogs, pass the egg-laden progoloid phase in their feces. The eggs are then ingested by a rabbit or from any member of the Leopardae family. Once ingested, the egg hatches and the hexagon embryo enters the wall of the intestine and migrates to its organ of choice via the portal veins. Tainia pisiformis typically prefers the liver and other viscera. The hexagon embryo grows, cavitates, and differentiates to form the second larval stage which consists of a fluid-filled bladder with a scolex called cystocircus. This second larval stage is often called bladder worm and forms two to four weeks following ingestion. The cystocircus stage insists on the liver capsule or other abdominal cirrhosal surfaces and is ingested by the definitive host when it consumes the intermediate host. As seen in the picture, from the dog to the rabbits which are infected with the eggs via ingestion of materials contaminated with fecal material from the infected dog, and then once ingested, it travels to the gut through the intestinal wall and then it will reach the bloodstream and the worm reaches the liver into which they will stay for about two to four weeks and it will move the peritoneal cavity and it will wait for the definitive host to eat them and the cycle goes on. The tapeworm has a simple anatomy which is dedicated almost entirely to reproduction. Most T. pisiformis are hermaphroditic which means they contain both sexes and can produce independently. During its lifetime, each tapeworm can produce hundreds of reproductive segments called progoloids, each of which can contain up to 40,000 larvae. The tapeworm body is made up of a scolex at the interior of the organism and the strobilia or its body. On the scolex of the parasite, there are four suckers and two rings of hooks attached to a retractable restellium. They are used to help the worm latch itself to the wall of the intestine of the primary host. The strobilia is made up of segments called proglutids. It is possible for a tapeworm to have thousands of proglutids. In rabbits, the T. pisiformis larvae attach themselves to the liver and intestine, forming cysts of 5 to 7 millimeter in diameter, and this is referred to as cystosarcosis. In adult T. pisiformis, the long hooks of the scolex are on average 239.9 micrometer and the short hooks are 140.1 micrometer. The dimensions of the suckers are 322.3 micrometer by 288.1 micrometer. They can have from 34 to 38 hooks which can be up to 234 micrometer in length. Adult T. pisiformis can grow between 0.5 to 2 meter or 20 to 79 inches long. The clinical manifestations of T. pisiformis is usually asymptomatic. Canids can have diarrhea or constipation and might look pot-bellied while rabbits have digestive disturbances and severe liver damage which can cause death. Severe infections, more typical of experimental inoculations, can cause severe hepatitis with chronic wasting or death. 
The pathology of T. pyriformis is its liver migration can result in focal granulomatous inflammation and fibrosis. Since the circus forms can be seen on liver capsule and cirrhosal surfaces of other viscera, its pathogenesis typically asymptomatic which severe infections cause disease due to liver damage from migration and resulting inflammation from host response. T. pyriformis is typically diagnosed at necropsy as an incidental finding. Perimortem diagnosis is possible with imaging techniques such as radiography and ultrasound. When looking for an infection in dogs, there is a more straightforward method. There will be gravid proboloidids when striated eggs seen in the feces. This can be found using a fecal float on a sample that can easily be done by a vet. Or should I say, it is a stool examination. T. pisiformis can be prevented via proper husbandry to prevent contamination of feed, caging, and environment with feces from infected animals. This includes proper washing of fresh foods. Insect control is also important as some sources report mechanical transmission by blowflies. Treatment with mebendazole is reported to kill both the mature and immature cystocerci. And other sources recommend epsiprantel, braziquantel, niclosamide, bunamindine, hydrochloride, or fenbendazole. In conclusion, Taenia pisiformis is an endoparasitic tapeworm, which is also known as rabbit tapeworm. It is under species of cestodes. Adult T. pisiformis can grow between 0.5 to 2 meters long. Its clinical signs are asymptomatic, but in canids, they have the possibility of diarrhea or constipation, while in rabbits, they can have digestive disturbances and severe liver damage that can lead to death. Its diagnosis is through necropsy, radiography, and ultrasound, and also it can be diagnosed through stool examination. It can be prevented via proper husbandry and can be treated with mebendazole, epsiprantel, praziquantel, niclosamide, bunamindine, hydrochloride, or fenbendazole. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and learned about T. pisiformis.